Yo, what's good? So in today's video, I'm about to show you guys how to, um, you know, the strongest battlegrounds character selector. Um, pretty much, I'm just adding it so there are game pass characters. So you know, um, I know in the game how I, I forgot what the character's name is, but if you choose one, to, you try to select one of the characters, you have to own the game pass that character. I'm sure you guys how to make that and stuff. If this is when you're first time watching any of my character selector videos. Um, then you're going to be very confused because you're going to wonder how I have all this stuff set up. I'm going to have a video linked at the end of, of it, which shows like me showing you how to put together the entire, the strongest battlegrounds game. So if you don't know, if you don't know at all how I made any of this stuff, then like the UI and everything, if you don't know how I made all of this then go watch that video, go watch part one of the, how to make the strongest battlegrounds video. I'll have that linked at the end of the video. So go watch that video. And when you're done there, then come back to this. But if you already watched that video and have everything set up and you're ready and you're ready to just add in the game pass portion go ahead and get straight into it all right so it's honestly extremely very simple not much else you not much like a lot of stuff you gotta add i really thought it was gonna be a lot more but it's really not okay so inside of your characters folder right here's how this is gonna work you guys remember how inside of your characters folder you have your skills like your tools inside right so you're gonna insert a boolean right i mean sorry boolean a number value you're going to simply just hit number value, insert that in. You're going to want to name this game pass ID, right? So pretty much you're going to set the ID to whatever your game pass ID is, right? I have a video on how to make game passes, so you can also go check that out as well. I'll have that link to the end of the video as well. So you get your game pass ID. I didn't make this game pass. This is another game. This is the, literally a regular game pass that I own from a different game stuff so so you could i would recommend you guys just use a game pass id like a game pass you already bought and you just use that id i would recommend you do that like test it and stuff right so you would just paste that as your id right here it's a number value put it inside of the character folder only put the game pass id um only put this number value inside of uh the characters folders that you want to be game pass characters so let's say for characters the second character i want i want it so that you have to have only game pass to your character Right, that's how it's gonna work. Now let me get into adding it because we're gonna need to do a little bit of say modifications to this part of the script stuff in order to make it so that we can check to see if whether or not um the character is one of those ones that we gotta verify that the player owns the game pass. So let's get straight into it. This is line 40 on the character selector script on the server side, stuff right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and go right here to line 48. And I'm going to say, and not the my first child name ID, which you spell this exactly as is. Stuff this pretty much means that the class names match up, and there is no game pass ID value inside of the folder, or the character folder and stuff. Which means that the which means that the character is in the game pass. Like you don't have to own a game pass to make the character, and that anyone can use that character. So it'll just proceed. Then I'm gonna. Then I'm going to, um, let's see. I want to, mm, we could go do it like this. We can have, we can press enter right there. So after you click the arrow, press enter, then you're going to use an else. If. Say else if the dot name is equal to class name, right? And the find first child game pass ID. But we're going to do a little bit more. Find first child no game pass ID. And we're going to get the, oh, I think, yeah, I forgot to delete it because I was doing this, I was preparing before I started recording. But anyway, so you're going to make a variable up here. I kind of organized everything, but it's still all pretty much the same thing. You're going to make a variable local MPS, which is short for marketplace service. You're going to do game, get service, marketplace service at the top. And once you get the marketplace service, you can scroll back down here and you're going to say, and yes, um, user owned game pack. I think you put the player's user ID, so player dot user ID, comma, then your game pass ID. Then you would say v dot game pass since we already confirmed that the game pass ID is in there. Take v dot game pass ID dot value. Make sure you include the dot value. Enter. And you guys already know the drill. We can copy and paste, but we got to do something a little differently. So we can copy and paste all of this. So control C, control V. But the difference, the one thing I do different is I gotta add an if statement right here. It's pretty much remember, it's cloning everything inside this folder over into the player's backpack. We obviously would, I mean, having a 
having a, a value there wouldn't like mess up anything but at the same time you just generally wouldn't want a, you're just sitting somewhere it doesn't need to be so we're just gonna use an if statement to make sure that it is a tool that we're moving because remember all these abilities are so we can say if fills regular bracket i and we're gonna this won't autofill so make sure you type this correctly is a parentheses quotation marks tool then right here and if kills i oh i forgot the sorry forgot the colon if kills is a tool then yeah and then yeah that's all you yeah, that's all you got to do guys we can go ahead and test this definitely going to test this considering i just put this together right before i started recording so i could definitely have forgotten something As always, if you guys want access to my scripts or models, you guys can become a channel member or a Discord subscriber. Links to you know either one of those can be found in the description, or you can leave a comment and I can help you out with that. Shout out to all my current channel subscribers and channel members. Just had someone subscribe. Had someone subscribe to my Discord server yesterday. Y'all are watching this video on Wednesday, but I'm recording this on Sunday, so. But anyway, so let's go ahead and test. So remember, we can select character one. Character one is gonna work because we don't need to own the game pass. Character two is also going to work because I do own the game pass, right? Now we now to test to make sure you know it works, you know you have to check it both ways. Make sure it works both ways. Let me just take let me just delete it, right? Like or delete the number, right? So let's say so let's say zero. Um the way you can test this, right? Is that you would try to switch over it's going to give you an error yeah, right here the specified game pass does not exist and stuff this error doesn't really matter because i mean yeah like no game pass exists with the id of zero but it's not the point you're just testing to make sure that if you own the game pass you get the character if you don't is what it is so, so this error doesn't matter so yeah everything works and stuff if you guys need help you guys can join my discord server the link is in the description as well as join my roblox group both both links can be found in the description Discord server is almost to 600 members. Roblox group is on its way to 150 members. That's for sure. Join up. Um, we're on our way to 2,100. Actually, no, I know for a fact, but probably halfway to 2,200. You'll be going crazy with the support. Thank you guys for showing all the love and support. I really do appreciate it. Stuff, but yeah, I guess if you guys want access to this model, I will. I'll just save it as its own file again. Yeah. So if you guys want access to this file, um. I'm a channel member or a Discord subscriber. Stuff and yeah, thank you guys for watching. Leave a like and subscribe if you enjoy, and I'll see you guys in the next video.